Hey guys, what's up? This is Chaos Bender here again for yet another video, and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. In the previous episode, we got all the way over here into the Gerudo Mesa, in search for some collectibles, and now we have a lot of them, uh, containing a couple of, uh, post souls, and I really don't want- and I'm gonna have to kill the post soul once again, because of this motherfucking annoying ass enemies, Jesus Christ. Alright, let's continue- oh, that was- Close. I have no clue what happened. Where are you, Mr. Poe? There we go. Nice. <laughs> I have no clue. I have no clue what happened there, but it was very annoying. We get postal number 35. Very, very nice. Already more than halfway into um, uh, the postal collectibles for a really nice reward by Giovanni. If I'm even pronouncing that right, uh, Giovanni, Giovanni. Yeah, I think it's called uh, Giovanni. Alright, now this part... Is very cool, and this is why. Uh, and by the way, I'm gonna have to wait until it's nighttime uh, in one of the parts because we have to collect another Poe. Um, no, two Poes before. Uh, no, I didn't want to. Come on, I didn't show at all. That is bullshit. <laughs> okay, so yeah, we have a uh, two more Poes to collect before we enter into the next area, which is coming right up. Uh, so I'm going to transform into my human form, and you want to take out your. Uh, uh, you know, your bow, if you want to use the Hawkeye, that is, you know, very, very nice. But, let me see. Yeah, let's just go ahead and, you know, uh, test it out, because it is actually very, very badass. And, boom! Hawkeye, this item is awesome. <laughs> Alright. Uh, now, I wouldn't actually recommend using it, um, for the following area, because it kind of takes some of your, uh, short-range accuracy away. And we're gonna be using it for a couple of, um... You know, for a couple of minutes here, uh, in this area, this is called the Bacoblin Base. I'm not really sure if that's the name of the little, like, those minion thingies. I think it is. Let's just go for a Bacoblin Base. <laughs> I'm not really sure. Um, in this place, you're going to be finding a couple of arrow bundles and, you know, the chests, which is actually what you want, because if you run out of arrows in here, you're going to be really, really annoyed. And I didn't... I didn't even, like, make notice of myself, so I don't know why those guys came here. Um, this is a small example of this here. You're gonna be getting a bundle of arrows, and we also got a couple of them in the previous episode. Uh, so I really don't know why these guys are chasing me, but I guess it's fine. Um, only one hit with the Master Sword is going to do it, so it, it, it's really not that bad. Alright. Uh, so let's just go ahead and pull out the bow over here. As you can see, there is another one of these dudes hanging around. Now, I don't really know if this is necessary, but you do actually have to kill them um, in order for these dudes to, you know, kind of stop. Uh, where did this one go? I'm not really sure. Uh, so where are these dudes? I'll just go ahead and proceed cautiously, because this is a base full of pacoblins. I mean, not that they are uh, a threat at all, but yeah, it's, it could potentially get annoying. Uh, this is w uh, where one of them is. It's really not a problem at all. Uh, but where are these guys coming from? This is something that I didn't really plan, and I haven't really informed the, the other dudes about my presence, so I guess it's kind of weird. Uh, let me see, so I'm just going to do a little... Uh, no! Come on! I don't want to target your ass. Uh, so let me see, if I do this, uh, we're going to... No? What the hell? Well, I guess I can take care of this one. Yeah, uh, sorry, but I'm a little bit confused as to why... God! Fucking damn it, there was another one. Uh, yeah, never mind, I'm just... Yeah, if I leave, I think nothing is going to happen, and they're just going to keep going uh, after me. Uh, but let me see, where the hell was that one? I'm actually very curious about that. Uh, what in the actual hell? Uh, okay, whatever game. Uh, not really gonna argue against it. But let me see, uh, these dudes aren't really... Okay, now they disappeared. This is this is extremely weird. What the hell is happening? I have no clue. I'm just gonna run for it, dude. I really, I, I couldn't really care less at this point. Let's just go ahead and uh, you know do this, I guess. Um, let me see. So I just want to take care of this one right over here. And uh, I I didn't fucking do it. <clears throat> All right, let me see. So let's just go ahead and take him out with our nice master sword slashes. And now let me see. Uh, Boom! Nice, there we go. Um, so running through this base is really not going to be um, any problem whatsoever. I mean, as you can see, this is very, very easy. Um, and as I, as I said, it is actually going to be... Uh, what the... Uh, so, check it out. I'm aiming here. 
and then... Okay, this is a nice glitch that I didn't know about. <laughs> okay, uh, so do I get my arrows back? I don't think I do. Uh, but yeah, let's just go ahead and uh, walk in, uh, up to this Bacoblin, which is exactly the one that, uh, that we need to kill, because that is going to give us a small key. Very, very nice. Uh, let me see, this might potentially be another short episode, because uh, I really don't want to make it uh, these very, very long. Uh, this is only a transition, uh, but right here you will see that there is a, you know, roasted pig over here. And this is going to give us a piece of heart, very, very nice. Uh, it is also going to give us uh, some small hearts. Now let me see, this episode might potentially be taking up like 8 minutes or so, because this is uh, something that I... Uh, you know, don't, I don't really, let's just put it this way, I don't really want to go into the next temple right away, uh, for, you know, purposes that we, uh, that we'll be seeing later, but I guess, uh, you know, a smaller rep, well, I, I guess we can make our way to, uh, to the, you know, to the actual, uh, temple, and then show you, uh, show it to you guys for a while, uh, but yeah, it's, it's actually going to not be too, uh, you know, too long of an episode. Uh, I already have everything planned, and I do know about the routes and stuff, so I need six episodes, and that is exactly what I am talking about, sorry. So, we get to fight this dude once again. I know, very, very annoying. However, it is going to be so much easier to battle him once he is off of his, you know, little piggies. Um, so yeah, you just want to do uh, one of the back slices, and then... Uh, you know, just go ahead and run for you. Well, not really a run for your life, uh, but just go ahead and um, get a little bit farther because if he is in the, you know, in his battle stance, he is going to be able to uh, hit you with his axe hammer. I I don't really know how to call that thing. It's kind of like a hybrid. Um, just go ahead and do that, and that is uh, that is kind of how you beat him. It is very easy. The backslice or helm splitter plus the uh, spin attack are going to be very, very effective against any type of enemy or boss, and it is going to be very easy to kill them all. So once he leaves, uh, he is going to set the whole thing on fire. That is extremely fucking rude. Uh, however, as you can see, uh, if we look around, the little boar is go well, the massive ass boar is going to. Uh, get up, and that is exact, uh, and, and that is our ticket um, out of this place. Small tip: you don't want to do it on this gate. Just go ahead and do it on the one that we came through uh, first here in this room. And as we do, there is going to be a very small cutscene of us, uh, you know, just kind of walking through, I guess. Um, and that is going to be basically it. So, I guess, yeah, it is night time, which is perfect, because now I don't need to wait for it to turn to, you know, for it to turn dark once again. Because there are two postals that we need to get before entering into the next area, uh, which I was about to say the name, but I'm not going to, to avoid spoilers. <laughs> Alright. Uh, so yeah, this is this is not going to be as short of an episode because there are a couple of things that I do want to take care of. Uh, first off, if you walk back over here, you will see that there is a Poe on the place that the um, uh, Bacoblin whatever boss uh, set the place on fire. And this is where we are going to be getting Poe Soul number 36. And from the little cutscene that we saw uh, right before entering the next uh, dungeon of the game, uh, you saw it right right next to the entrance, and we're going to be getting another post soul. That, that is going to put our number up to 37, and the next four are going to be found inside of the, uh, of the temple. Uh, this, I'm going to talk about it uh, once we uh, once we do some stuff in the following episode, um, like in, in the, in the uh, inside of the dungeon, but it is another reference to Ocarina of Time, we'll get to that when uh, we enter. So we get Postal number 37, like I said before, and before entering this place, you want to go over here, and if your pockets are a little bit empty, this is where we're going to be finding another, um, uh, well, another kind of nice uh, rupee reward. If you light both of these torches, there is going to be another chest popping up, which is going to give us a purple rupee worth 50. So that is very, well, it's not that useful, but it's still very... Uh, healthy to our pockets. And there we go. Purple Rupee worth 50. Alright, that is awesome. Uh, so, after this, with all of the posts, all of the golden insects, and all of the pieces of heart, which was only one, <laughs> that we could get before entering the next dungeon, we're going to make our way into the place where we're gonna find, hopefully, the Mirror of Twilight. <laughs>
and welcome to Arbiter's Arbiter's Ground. <laughs> that those are the types of words that I cannot really pronounce in English. Uh, I do ha I I do struggle pronouncing uh, like for example editor a janitor. I, I mean. It is kind of awkward to pronounce, uh, you know, for me at least. But you know, it's it's really not important. So I guess Arbiter's Ground is how <laughs> how it's called. Sometimes I get it right. Sometimes I fail completely, completely horrible. Um, so I'm just going to make our way. Uh, I, I mean, I'm just going to make my way up to the like uh, the first the sort of uh, well, not the main area, just before the main area, so you guys can check it out. Uh, so right here what you need to do there are there is going to be shifting sands all around and right here We have a new enemy which I think are called stockings or something like that. Uh, it's a very odd enemy name But yeah, it's it's kind of funny. <laughs> um, you don't want to uh, Go to get the, uh, that chain uh, on your own because as you can see the, sh the sand is going to be shifting and you can actually sink which um, if you guys have checked out some of the glitches in this game uh, That is one that I'm going to be mentioning at some point uh, throughout the game I'm going to be talking about the glitches, and this place, uh, we can actually do a very, very funny glitch um, that I'm going to be I'm going to be talking about later. Uh, right now, there is a locked door, but before you do that, uh, we're going to be getting the actual key, uh, which is right here. Now, there is nothing else in the room. This is like very, I mean, it was kind of useless to do this. I'm not really sure why that, uh, why this was. Um, but let me see, uh, I actually, uh, okay, so yeah, just roll. Uh, there are going to be, uh, little scarabs, and they're going to be, uh, kind of slowing you down. It is very, very awkward. So right here, I am going to, why is my select not working? I'm going to be choosing my empty bottle, and first off, you, uh, this is a lantern oil, so you don't need to worry. You're gonna be needing your lantern here a little bit, but not really for, uh, that much. It's, it's really not even going to waste half of it. But I just want to make sure that I have my lantern, of my lantern full, and I also grab uh, another bottle of lantern oil since our uh, other uh, bottle was actually empty. So that's really not going to be any problem whatsoever. All right. So now that we are here, I goddamn scarabs pieces of goddamn shit. Oh, okay, that was a mouthful, so I'm going to set my inventory to the claw shot, and I believe there are going to be some bombable shit in here, as well as, uh, I guess there's really nothing else to do, but I'm just going to put my Gale Boomerang in here, or maybe the, maybe the bow, that, yeah, that's, uh, that, I guess that's alright. Okay, so before entering into the next dungeon, right now it is a very good time to say that if you guys enjoyed, make sure to leave me a comment down below telling me if you did, as well as a like, it really helps out the show. So that, you guys have a great day, take care of yourselves, and until the next episode, when we go into the Ar Ar Pfft, Arbiter's Grounds in search for the Mirror of Twilight, I will see you then. Fucking Scarab, get off. The most basic of sword skills, a sea target. You must wait until your foe is upon you. Then, before the enemy can see through your roots, you must quickly draw your blade with A. There is no defense for this. The mortal draw deals death. Very well, now try it. <laughs> 